Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, Karibu Sana. My name is Doris. I enjoy making videos on bullet journaling and DIY. Yeah, so today I'm making pilau, as you can see. And I hope you enjoy this. Give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and also subscribe to my channel. I'm going to start off by placing my meat on the stove, turning it on, and boiling this down until it is thoroughly cooked. It looks like a rock because it was from the freezer, so that's that. I'll just add in a little bit of salt and let it cook down until all the water is dried up. As this is happening, I'm going to go ahead and prepare the other ingredients. I have one large onion, I have three cloves of garlic, and a big piece of ginger. So I'm just going to cut this up and peel them and wash them. Uh, one thing to note is that if you want to add more onions to your pilau, you can do so. It brings out that beautiful brown color in pilau that we all love. And also go easy on the ginger because it overpowers the garlic. So less is more here. And I can see my meat is cooked. I'm just going to turn this off and set this aside. Then go ahead and chop up other ingredients I have here my ginger and garlic I'm just cutting them up into tiny little bits of pieces so that it can be easier to crush them you can also use a grinder it, uh, whatever works best for you the easiest way is the best to use I'm also cutting up the onion and setting it aside ready for me to cook my pilau I'm so excited I can't wait here my boiled meat which is ready to eat then I have my one chopped onion then I have my rice two glasses or tumblers of this plastic tumbler I used here I'm going to rinse this out and soak then I have my crushed garlic and ginger and my one tablespoon of this pilau mix I'm ready to cook now that all my ingredients are prepared, I'm going to place my pot on the stove and turn on the heat too high. I want the pot to be warmed up or hot before I start cooking. It's kind of preheating the pan or saucepan or pot or sofria, however you call it. After this, I'm just going to add in my oil so that also that can be heated up and then I'm going to go ahead and add in my onions. I'll stir this around for a while, just about maybe a minute or so until everything is a bit brown and cooked, looks close to a brown but not yet totally brown. Then I add in my paste and my pilau mix. This I'm going to cook for a while until everything is brown. I have to say having a nonstick pan is just a lifesaver. Just because if I was using an aluminum sufria at this point, cooking uh, garlic and ginger or spice usually sticks to the bottom of the pan, so this is really nice. After a while, everything is brown and beautiful, I'm going to go ahead and add in my meat. Then I'm going to just stir this around, ensure everything is looking good, cover it up, allow it to cook for a short while on a low heat, and then I will come. I will go ahead and add in my rice later. The meat looks really good and smells really good as well so I'm going to take my rice which had soaked for the duration of cooking this stew, uh, drain it, rinse it again and add it to the pot. Once that is done I'm going to just stir this around and ensure that everything looks really good. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in my water. Remember the utensil you use to measure your rice with should be the utensil you use to measure the water with. Since I had two glasses of rice, I'm going to add in four glasses of water in total. At this point, 
point I'm almost done cooking guys I'm just going to check the salt stir this around and sure everything is looking good cover this up and let it simmer on a low heat and we'll see what happens next after about 18 minutes of cooking I'm, uh, this is how it looks it's almost dry so I'm just making sure that the meat is not clumping in one area uh, just spread it out and cover this to simmer some more until everything is dried down Less than five minutes later Everything is ready. I'm just going to turn off my heat. You can serve at this point But I'm going to put this in the grill because that's where uh, It will remain hot until the time I'm going to serve and I hope you enjoyed this video And if you did give it a thumbs up comment down below and also subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time Bye